I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday, December the 14th, brought to you in part by Vitalix. Delivering the highest value tub for your feed dollar has been their mission for over 30 years. We've got some exciting news about Vitalix coming up, guys. They're going to be giving away free tubs in the new year. Stay tuned to the feeder flash for more information. Get the blue tub. Your cows will love you. For more information, go to Vitalix.com. Feedlot replacements are rolling, and I mentioned it on the last feeder flash, how the buyers are really getting after these, uh, these big yearlings. There's not many yearlings, true yearlings left around, and where you see them, they are bringing, you know, prices that are, are kind of comparable with what happened before we saw the big sell-off. Uh, the calves have moderated a lot. We saw them selling real well last week when the board was uh, was failing there. But uh, uh, the few yearling feeders that we still see around are in high demand. I'm coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada. I just got here uh, to go to the finals, so I don't have a whole lot to tell you, but I'm going to give you the markets here. Talk about your board. December live cattle futures were down 75 cents on Wednesday at 166.95. February down 137 at 167.22. Your back months on live cattle down 47 to down a buck 45. Feeder cattle for January down 187 at 217.37. There's some kind of a rule against the board being up uh, on cattle three days in a row, so we didn't see that happen. But March. Feeder cattle down a buck seventy-five at two seventeen eighty-five. Your back months on feeder cattle down one fifteen to one down one fifty-two, but that's nothing compared to what they were doing here for the last three or four weeks, guys. December corn down five and three quarters cent at four fifty-six and three quarters. January beans down sixteen and a quarter at thirteen oh seven and a half. Kansas City hard red winter wheat for March down 24 and three quarter cent at 6.32. Your fat cattle trade and why uh, these direct sellers are succumbing to these lower bids, I have no idea. I don't believe we've uh, sold enough yet to establish the market, but here it is. Iowa sold 1,900 head on Wednesday from 165 to 167. Why would they sell them any cheaper than what they sold them last week when the board's been uh, kind of correcting itself and behaving pretty well? Dress trade in Iowa on Wednesday from 267 to 268. That is, uh, that, that, that's below uh, what the market should be, guys. Nebraska, 3,200 head on Wednesday from 166 to 168. Dress trade from 267 to 270. Kansas sold one load at 167 and that's it. The rest of them were staving off that pressure. Texas didn't sell any cattle in the country uh, negotiated on Wednesday. Had a fat cattle auction at Sioux Falls Regional Livestock in Worthing, South Dakota. Slaughter steers were steady to three bucks higher. Slaughter heifers four bucks higher. Conventional fat cattle at Sioux Falls Regional Livestock sell from 163 to 171. And your program cattle, a non-implanted or drug-free fat cattle selling from 167 to 173 and a quarter, which is where your market probably should be this week. Box beef cutout values were mixed. Choice was down 114 at 291.64. Selects up 55 cents at 259.21. Your slaughter is pretty aggressive. We've known the Packers are going to have to step up the chain speeds a little bit just to give them the product that they need to fill demand. But up through the first three days of this week, slaughter on cattle, 380,000. That's 4,000 more than last week. 17,000 more than the same week a year ago. Don't forget about your punchy pick of the month contest. We've been having a lot of fun with that. We've gotten a lot of punchy picks uh, so far uh, this month already in, uh, but don't forget about that. If you see something that happens out in your regular uh, daily life, working cattle or whatever you're doing, pull out your cell phone, snap a pic of it, send it to punchy at nationalbeefwire.com. You'll automatically get entered 
uh, for the grand prize, which is a bunch of cool swag from Beaver Feed Company in Beaver, Oklahoma, Beaver County Stockyards in Beaver, Oklahoma, and then the, the best part of the grand prize is the whole case of Fair Peace, which is that revolutionary product, just a topical product you put over their muzzle, over their pole, and it calms them down, guys. Check out the video at the end of this report. Also, New Cambria Livestock Auction, that's in uh, New Cambria, Missouri, North Central Missouri, and uh, we've, they've got a special bred cow sale coming up this Saturday, and it's going to be premium quality, guys. December the 16th, this Saturday, and it's on dvauction.com if you can't make it to New Cambria, but they've got 150 or more black and black baldy, three to four year old young bred cows there, guys. They start calving in, in mid to late February. Uh, part of them are going to be bred to Horned Hereford Bulls. Some of them are going to be bred to Black Bulls. But they will be as good as you can find anywhere, guys. Also have a, uh, several consignments of first calf heifers uh, that are bred, guys. And they will be top quality also. Expecting around 800 head all together at New Cambria Livestock Auction on dvauction.com. Talk about what else is going on. Livestock Risk Services, that's Dakota Moss, right there in Oklahoma City. And uh, he's got a lot of agents there working with him. They are your LRP specialists. You guys have heard all about the LRPs. You got questions about them. There's no dumb questions. Give them a call there at uh, Livestock Risk Services, and you can find out the lowdown on everything you need to know about protecting yourself in these volatile markets. For more information, go to LivestockRiskServices.com. Talk about your feeder cattle market, your real-time index on DV Auction. Late in the day on Wednesday, sitting at two eighteen fifty one, Raised $2.51. Like I told you, they're going after these feedlot replacements, guys. And uh, that's a big, big gain on a seven-day moving average there. Uh, based on your, your middle 12 states on the 800 pound steer cash auction steer right there. Talk about your big sales on Wednesday. Of course one of the biggest OKC West El Reno, Oklahoma also a DV auction broadcaster 7,500 head for the two day sale. Feeder steers on Wednesday four to eight bucks higher. Feeder heifers four to ten dollars higher. Like I said they are absolutely going after them guys filling those empty pins up. Calves five to ten dollars higher on Tuesday. Uh, good sell there at El Reno, Oklahoma. How about Dodge City? Winter livestock in Dodge City sold 2,300 head on Wednesday. Yearling feeders three to nine bucks higher. Like I said, they're going after them guys. Calves were unevenly steady. Your National Beef Wire stick out sale of the day was Bassett Livestock Auction in Bassett, Nebraska. 3,700 head. They called the market unevenly steady. Some pretty impressive quotes here, even all piled together. Uh, look at this automated market report through Cattle Market Central. You see 556 head of five weight steers in Bassett, Nebraska. The average 554 pounds with a weighted average price of 288.72. That 1,302 head of six weight steer calves in Bassett, Nebraska. The average 640 pounds with a weighted average price of 272.99. That would be a stick out deal, uh, let alone put all together, guys. How about 736 head of seven weight steer calves? The average 728 at 249.14. Uh, the largest group of heifers was your five weight heifers, 322 head of them. The average 560. The weighted average price of 253.75 or 78, excuse me. Give you some individual quotes. Greg Riken at Stockman's Livestock Market in Yankton, South Dakota, at their feeder cattle auction, they sold 405 head of 1,037 pound steers, near beer steers, bring 216.85. Are you kidding me? He told me they'll be higher next week. But the most impressive quote that I saw anywhere on Wednesday in your Macrosin, no BS, top quote for the day, come out of Bassett Livestock Auction in Bassett, Nebraska. It was 198 steer calves, weighed 600 pounds on the button 
and bring 305. And that's your feeder flash for Thursday.